Hi there, it's Chris Kramer coming to you today from inside the gyrotonics room at Miami City Ballet, and I am here with principal dancer Jeanette Delgado. And Jeanette, I really wanted to talk to you today because um, I know you practice gyrotonics to you know stay in shape um, as a dancer. And for a lot of people, um, they've never heard of gyrotonics. So they're like, gyro what? What is this machine? Yeah. So, you know, I kind of just wanted to talk to you a little bit. How, how did gyrotonics come about for you? When did you first learn about this? I was in the school, the Miami City Valley School, and um, one of our teachers that came in, it was like my last year in the school, she trained in gyrotonics under the man who developed it. So she came and kind of started to work with some of us and whoever was willing to just try something new. And we were kind of explained that it was like a Pilates type of not really ballet, but movement oriented like exercises. So mm -hmm. it seemed like something that I would want to do. And so that's how I kind of got into it. And so it's been like eight years now that I've been doing it. And I go on and off, you know, we get busy with the season and sometimes sure. it's, it's hard because it is an extra added workout type mm -hmm. of thing. But definitely in the summers and now since I was dealing with this injury, it's been mm -hmm. really nice. In ballet, sometimes you do everything to one side mm -hmm. or like when you're doing a certain ballet, you're only on one leg. Right. And you're sitting on this machine and you're using like both, both of your the sides of your body. So for me, it just feels like it like loosens me and kind of balances out my two sides. Well, that makes sense. Like so, I mean, just with uh, how choreography is and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could be like, you know, really using one side and strengthening one side, yeah. maybe over developing mm -hmm. one side as compared to another it. side of your body. Exactly. Since it's yeah, yeah. So this really, you're constantly working, like with the legs and with your arms, mm -hmm. with both sides of your and it and it's. And it's movement too, it's not just like, Ugh, work your stomach, you know, like, I feel like it's like, it's, it's not like sit-ups. Exactly, <laughs> you feel like you're almost dancing at the same time, yeah. but in a, in a more healthy way than ballet, which is not exactly so healthy for you, are always turned out and stuff, yeah. here you sit The kind majority of, of people don't walk, walk like, you yeah. know, super turned out. Like exactly. <laughs> so this feels much more natural, but you still feel like you're kind of dancing and moving and strengthening in a different way. For me, it's also just more like it It has keep, kept me like focused and kind of right. a little sane, like to have something, so, to, something outside. Something else to come to. Exactly. To have something outside of ballet that I can feel like I'm working and not being judged or not like judging myself. Right. There's no mirrors in here. You know, yeah. like you're right. It's kind of like your time to get away exactly. and move your body and exactly. kind of like a sense of freedom mm -hmm. in movement. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's that what sense. I feel like has been, I think, the biggest like reason why I come to it. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily that I feel like it's helped me in ballet so much or you know, yeah. it's just definitely made me feel good for mm -hmm. my body on my own time. And then I do feel the like sometimes I'll come in the morning and use it as a warm up before class and automatically I get into class and my body whether it's just that I'm warm mm -hmm. or from you know, this type of work, yeah. either way it makes me feel good. So Yeah, sure. I like it. Sure. It's nice to enter a class. Um, most people don't know this, but I mean just just for someone, I mean, you dance all day long, you take an hour and a half class every single day, you know, before starting your rehearsal day, but, you know, you and most dancers come in before class yeah. and do a whole another little mini uh, warm up before doing a ballet class. Yes, because the ballet class is not, it's not natural for your body. So, I mean, you dance for eight hours a day and then you walk out of here without, like, you've just done all this unnatural stuff for your body and then you go to sleep, you eat, you go to sleep, you wake up the next day, your body's kind of like, what did you just do to me? <laughs> exactly. So this is like a nice way to kind of wake it up and naturally kind yeah. of start warming Loosen it up. Loosen it up. Yeah. Now, could you foresee someone who isn't a ballet dancer doing this type of work? Because it's so, like, in the ballet world. I think a lot of people do this that aren't. I think it's starting to get much more. My mom started doing it. Oh yeah. What, do, what does your mom say about gyrotonics? <laughs> she loves it. She loves. It. She likes it because I think it really like it does attract people even if you're not a dancer or because of the sequence of movements and stuff. You feel mm -hmm. like you're. I don't know. You're. Everybody likes to dance, whether you're a ballet dancer, you know. Like I feel like it's it's movement. It's not just exercises. Right. to strengthen and so 
Yeah, it's not like a hardcore like sculpt class at the yeah, gym. Or something yeah, yeah, like but that. you're definitely sculpting your muscles and sure. using and but in a in a healthier way. I feel mm-hmm. like it's it's nothing in here is like gonna hurt you. I feel like you know like right. sometimes those things at the at the gym you can and you, if you're new and you're not familiar with it you would do it with someone coaching you and helping you through it so they sure. would be able to watch you and kind of show you how, sure, to, exactly. how to do it and so exactly I think it's beneficial to anybody. So Jeanette would you mind uh, showing us a few exercises? Sure. Um, so you start off kind of usually with, with like both of your arms and you're definitely you think of like in ballet we move like in circles and it's always kind of rotation through like both of your sides so it's very beneficial for ballet this is very like you're opening and then I'm going to talk through this and then I'm going to start shaking because you use your your stomach to kind of pull your body back and so you're starting to like wake up and lift and like pull your body up and lengthen and then you can reverse it and then we do like figure eights, which is fun because I feel like you start moving from side to side. Um, but I can really see you lengthening your upper body yeah, you know, as a dancer. Your, you know? Yeah, yeah. And and then you, you can go to one side and kind of start like twisting. There's like a lot of, which definitely I feel my, the sides of my body like start working. And the whole time you're... You're kind of pushing through your feet and getting grounded into the floor. Engaging your legs as well. Mm-hmm. So it's not, even though you're just using your, your it's arms coming to push a lot, it, it's coming from, from everywhere. Pelvis and your, yeah, so it's like a, a whole body type of thing. There's also fun stuff you can do to strengthen your arms, which is helpful for like partnering and stuff like that. Um, where you just kind of are like twisting. And a lot of gyro is with your breath. So... So that it feels more natural, so that you're not some exercises you like you start you forget to use your breath, but you know in life you breathe naturally. So I feel like that's also a nice thing about this exercise is that you don't feel you feel more like it's just natural what you're doing. You're not doing anything that's like out of the ordinary. So it makes me happy. So Jeanette, thank you so much for showing us some of uh, the gyrotonics exercises that you do. Is this something you'll be doing um, during your break from Miami City Ballet to mm-hmm. stay in shape? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's nice because I think of it, it's more like it, it, I want to come in and do this. Like, if I don't take a class, it's good to take off from ballet and get away from it and kind of, you know, we think so much about it, we're constantly doing it all season long, it's good to get away from it. but. This is something that I don't necessarily think of as like. I have to go work out. Exactly. It's like something that makes me happy that I like to move my body in this way, and so I'll definitely be. I'll be here if you're looking for me in the summer. (laughs) All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us and uh, giving us an insight into gyrotonics.